Hello friends, Editing Eerie here. Somehow I managed to completely destroy the front-facing video for Terra Spread 49. So I still have the top-down table view. So this video is going to be a bit broken, but you'll still be able to hear everything and you will see stuff on the table. Just, well, you won't see my pretty face these things happen. I'd really appreciate it if you still watch the video, but I totally understand if you don't. That being said, we'll get into tarot reading 49, such as it is, missing half of the video. But, yeah. Technology problems. Today's spread is another looking ahead spread. This is when you're trying to make a five-year plan. Therefore, it's called the five-year spread. <laughs> as trite or as uh, on the nose as that might be. For this next set of videos, I will be showing off a another tarot deck. This is the Darkwood Tarot. Again, not sponsored. I bought this myself. The reason I bought this one is my cousin actually had this deck before me, and it's one of the decks she reads from a lot. And she kept calling me for input on some of her readings, and I found it was a whole lot easier to have the exact same tarot deck so that I would actually be looking at the exact same art, which is why I, why I purchased this one. So with all that introduction out of the way, let's get into the five-year spread. The five-year spread uses five cards. Each one represents a different question in regards to your planning process. This spread will use the full tarot deck. The first card asks the question, where am I now? It's hard to plan where you're going if you don't know where you're starting. Card number two, where would I like to be in five years' time? Three, what resources or training should I look for? Four, what challenges will I need to overcome to reach that goal? And five, to attain that goal, should I stay where I am currently living or will I have better prospects of attaining the goal elsewhere? So we're going to shuffle the deck and we will see where we're going with this. Okay. So card number one is the Queen of Swords. Card number two is the Three of Swords reversed. Three is Justice reversed. Four is the Four of Pentacles reversed. And five is the Knight of Wands upright. Okay. So card one, where am I now, is the Queen of Swords. This would indicate that you have conquered your current challenges. You're looking for something new. Because the Queen of Swords is the female monarch of the suit of challenges. So your eye is now on the horizon looking for something new to conquer. Card number two, where you would like to be in five years. We have the Three of Swords reversed. The Three of Swords is heartbreak. Being reversed, it's that you, you're you trying to avoid heartbreak. So true to its gothic theming, this deck assigns the three of hearts a slightly different meaning. Normally it is heartbreak. It is some deep emotional wound. This deck prefers to instead interpret it as a heart opener. Something that gives you the opportunity to feel more deeply to wear your heart on the sleeve, so to say. Being reversed, the goal is that in five years' time, your heart will be shielded, shall we say. You won't be vulnerable to the things you feel you are vulnerable to now. Card number three is Justice Reversed. The card of justice as part of the Major Arcana is more about the concept of justice rather than necessarily the rule of law. 
being reversed, I'm inclined to say that what you should be looking to strengthen over the next five years is looking out for yourself. Don't do what is equitable for everyone in your life. Don't be a doormat. Stand up for yourself. The Four of Pentacles in this deck shows a mandrake root holding on to four pentacles, four coins. The chosen interpretation by the author is that it is miserly. It is hoarding what it has. Being reversed implies generosity. Mythologically speaking, mandrakes, if you were to uproot them, would scream. And would scream so loud that they would kill those who dared uproot them. This being reversed, it's be free. Be gentle. Balance the desire for a secure heart with a kind hand. It's interesting as I'm, I'm going through these cards, typically when you have a five-year spread, people are asking about finances or they're asking about what their job will be like in five years. But this is much more heart-based. This is much more internally focused. Card number five is the Knight of Wands. Knights are cards of change. They are invitations to do something. In this case, being the suit of wands, it is to learn, to improve some sort of technical skill. As part of the question of whether I should stay where I am or should I move somewhere else to accomplish my goal, that depends. Where do you see the greatest possibility for change in your skills, in your intellectual endeavors? If that's to stay where you are, stay where you are. If that's to go somewhere else to pursue additional training or new opportunities, then follow that. And that brings us to the end of the five-year plan spread. If you are enjoying this series, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you agree or disagree with any of the interpretations of the cards that I have demonstrated in today's reading, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!